So productivity. It's the number one thing I hear about from leaders all the time, how they don't have time to do anything, let alone strategic thinking, dealing with their staff issues, or even just getting their work done. So uh, lots has been written about productivity in terms of how to organize yourself, how to set your task list up, how to manage your calendar. I'm not going to cover any of that because really some of the critical aspects of getting productivity sorted is around other things that we don't generally talk about and that is people. <laughs> yeah, people can be your greatest asset and also your greatest hindrance when it comes to productivity. And I find that there's three things that we can focus on to help smooth over some of those friction points when it comes to productivity and people. The first one is probably not what you're expecting and it is truth telling. So this is when people don't speak up, they don't share an opinion, they don't voice a concern, they just keep quiet and shut down. And this is a tremendous barrier to productivity because of the lost opportunity, the lost ideas that are held back from someone when they don't speak up. So as leaders, we need to be able to role model, first of all, speaking the truth and create the scene and atmosphere where people can speak the truth. Now, the second barrier to productivity when it comes to people is actually accountability around truth telling. <laughs> It's one thing to say we're going to speak the truth and it's another thing altogether to actually do it in a way that keeps encouraging people to show up and speak authentically. So the best solution to this is just to keep, um, with a keep up with a regular check-in. Have a way that people can honestly say how they're feeling and thinking about issues. And if you're just starting this for the first time, you may have to do this anonymously through uh, a written survey or even through... Uh, emails and that kind of thing. So a lot of people find it very difficult to speak up in front of others. So know yourself, know your group, and but create a cadence of accountability and check-in regularly, a week, every two weeks, whatever it is, as long as you're doing it. And the third obstacle when it comes to um, productivity in people is emotional hygiene. So there's nothing more unproductive than having a negative mood, <laughs> yours or anybody else's. And the root of this is that we're never really taught how to manage our emotions well. We kind of have them and then we're told to not have them, to suppress them and to keep quiet and, and so on. So when we learn to experience our emotions, process them healthily and effectively, then that just clears up a whole bunch of friction points when it comes to getting stuff done. So how do we do that? It's all about sitting with your feelings, just being okay with them, inquiring what the feeling is there to offer you, and insight into something, something that's bothering you, an opportunity perhaps, and that's the moment when we know we're getting a breakthrough. Every emotion is pointing us in a direction that can help us. So when we get quiet and tune into that, it'll point us in the right direction, blocks are released, onwards we go. So, there you go. Friction points to productivity fixed. Lead well, live well.